Hey, welcome back to Not a Sermon, Just a Thought. In the previous episode, I, I told you about that great passage in Hebrews 11 and 12. The writer says that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, people who, by their experience, assure us, encourage us, inspire us, people who endured great struggles, overcame insurmountable obstacles, survived crushing losses, and faced painful adversity. These witnesses testify to the power of faith and the faithfulness of God. When we're discouraged, they strengthen us to hang on. But there's something even more encouraging in that passage. It's in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, near the end of the verse. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. So we have this great cloud of witnesses, and we have a clearly marked course. One of the things Christians need to constantly remember and celebrate is the fact that we have something people all over the world are searching for, direction. The race is marked out for us. We don't have to guess about it. We don't have to search for it. We don't have to make it up as we go. I, th I think we often look at the Bible and its commands as, as a burden we must carry or an authority we must endure. It, it, it can come across as the big no from heaven. But in Psalm 119, the psalmist prayed, I walk about in freedom, for I have sought your precepts. I run in the path of your commands, for you have set my heart free. Look, Scripture is not a corral hemming us in. It's not a, a wall keeping us out. It's not an iron curtain limiting our liberty. It's the means by which God has marked out for us the path to freedom, joy, and peace. Now, we may wrestle with day-to-day -day decisions with what to do in particular circumstances. In those times, we can pray for wisdom and insight. But the direction of our lives has been given to us. Don't forget that. In fact, celebrate it. It's not a sermon, just a thought.